Okay, Dad, did we surprise you? Yes. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. Happy weekend to you. This week, I took a secret surprise trip to Seattle. And you might be thinking, how do you do a surprise trip to Seattle? Don't you have to show up at your parents' house and, you know, like have a key into the house and I, would they not let you in if they didn't know you were coming? Well, here's the thing. My brother now has his own place in Seattle. So I drove to Seattle on Sunday night, slept at my brother's apartment, took Monday off of work, and then surprised my father. And it is very funny to me that this video is coming out just a few days after the chubby bunny challenge video with my dad. Because in that video, you saw just what a hilarious, goofy, very much related to me, person my dad can be. But then in this vlog, you see the opposite side of my dad, the business side, the entrepreneur side, the serious, not too serious, but just like, you know, hard worker dude, you know? Later in this vlog, I get my closet cleaned by a professional organizer because apparently that was necessary and apparently I signed up for that, so stay tuned for that aftermath. Okay, let's get started with the week. Okay, I'm in Seattle on a secret surprise mission. My dad's company is celebrating its 30th anniversary and he doesn't know, but I'm in town. We've got mom here and the dogs, everybody's here. Mom, are you ready? I am ready, I think. Yes, <laughs> dogs, are you ready? Mom, of course, in typical, um, our family, at least the girls in our family fashion, has written a song that we're gonna sing about my dad when he comes to this surprise lunch reception thing. I thought you were gonna say, Typical has forgotten to put money in the parking space. Oh, or typical running late, <laughs> which is typical for us girls. Hey dogs. Max, are you ready for the surprise? Ready. You gonna sing a song? <laughs> Sydney, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I don't think my dad has any idea. He definitely doesn't have any idea that we all have giant pictures of his face on us. Mom is very clever. <laughs> Today to raise a glass to you. The big 3 0 just goes to show what damn hard work can do. You were just a man cub then, now look at what you've done. That company grew a family too, wife, daughter, and a son. You made some history, and we're so proud you see. To, to be, be a part of the things you do. do. We want to be like you, boo boo, to celebrate with you. <laughs> I'm almost speechless, which is really hard for me to be, as you guys know. We're gonna cut the cake. Okay, Dad, did we surprise you? Yes, that was quite a surprise. <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs> Dogs were in on it, too. Oh, mom's feeding them dessert now. Well, I'm back in Portland and back at work and ready for a interesting day. It is obviously springtime and so people are doing some spring cleaning and that means we're doing TV segments about spring cleaning. There's a wonderful woman who is a professional organizer here in Portland and she sent an email to our station a couple weeks ago asking if any of the on-air people for our 11 a.m. show would be willing to let her come into their house or apartment and clean something. So for some reason, and for other reasons I am now regretting, I volunteered to let her come clean out my closet. Oh God, it just is painful to say. I know she's very nice, I know she's great at her job, but I also know that uh, this scares me because I'm letting our viewers into my apartment, basically. And I'm also scared that she's gonna make me throw away a bunch of clothes and I don't, I don't want to. I like all of my clothes and I also may be partially a hoarder, but whatever. Anyway, so I just finished up our first live shot of the day and now I'm going to my apartment to shoot a segment. 
Huh, here goes nothing. So I realized after recording that clip that I can't actually show you the stuff we shot that day because most of the things I do on TV at this point are live. They are live shots, they air then. So by the time this vlog goes up, everyone watching TV has already seen them. But this time we shot like two hours worth of cleaning my closet. Oh my goodness, it was a long time. And then that two hours of footage will be edited down into like two minutes of stuff that airs on TV two weeks from now. At which point I will also be going live on TV in my bedroom. <laughs> what is my life? Anyways, I figured at this point I could at least show you the progress, where my closet is at this point, then you can see all the process and the final product later. So you can see uh, my shoes, well you didn't know this originally, but my shoes used to be on the floor in a big pile. Now they're up on, on the shelf. That looks nice. But you'll see that there are all these piles of clothes that are still there, which that's not my fault, okay? They're organized piles. You've got like all my gym shirts over there, my pajamas in the middle, Sweaters over there. The wonderful organizing lady, Michaela Santin, when we come to do the final reveal of what my closet looks like and go live from here, she's bringing some shelves or cubbies or something to organize that stuff. So right now, it's just an organized piles on the floor, okay? I, I, I don't have anywhere else to put it. So yeah, hey, things are coming together. That's my closet, and that is um, the end of this vlog. Oh, actually, before I end this, I just wanna say, Dad, if you are watching, which I'm sure you are because you watch every single one of my videos. Oh my goodness, you're too wonderful to me. Congratulations on 30 years, and you are the coolest because just hours after giving a speech to hundreds of people at your office about serious things, you shoved marshmallows in your mouth to go on the internet, so just thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up for, you know, being an adult. Okay guys, I'm trying, I'm trying. Subscribe to my channel because you want to see the final product, okay? You, you do. Also, especially you wanna see the edited version of the two hours of closet cleaning because uh, I had to part with some clothing items that I, I didn't want to. She made me, just kidding, she was very nice, but I, I have sentimental value attached to everything that I own and that's why I end up with so much stuff. So I threw away like two garbage bags worth of clothes. Or not threw away, I donated them to Goodwill. So go to Goodwill, you can, you can find some of my clothes. Why would you want that? Anyways, I will see you on Wednesday for another random video. Bye!